Hello Fire Science, Leo Aries and Sagittarius. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. In this reading, we are going to find out what does your person in mind feel about your last conversation. And this is a collective reading for Fire Signs. And if you were divinely guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same Fire Sign. Let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for fire signs, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. How does the person in mind feel about their last conversation? Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. This is your energy. Um, King and Queen both are in an upright position. Okay, the devil in reverse can indicate um, feeling. Since your last conversation, they may have had some negative thoughts about you, negative feelings towards you in the past, but I see them releasing it. Um, and the chariot here, they feel now really confident that both of you two of cups i would say confident or a success because the cherry can keep moving forward successfully victoriously they could be feeling that both of you are on the same page finally that both of you understand each other um on a soul level because it's two of cups to me i do see it as like a soul energy um a soul connection rather okay two of cups can get friendship as well um they feel closer to you now than before and just bear in mind in this reading it's not just related to love uh, or romantic relationship this person could be anybody okay be a friend could be a family member just whoever you have on your mind right now okay and the seven of cups here in my verse it's like a very sure energy i'm getting here they could be feeling that since your last conversation now they know now they understand maybe because maybe before that they were kind of confused they didn't know what was going on but for some of you maybe you have clarified to them because the king of swords is I would say a strategic a strategic king or a king who is doesn't matter again king or queen but maybe you have told this person certain truth about yourself or vice versa okay <clears throat> or it could be them sorry i'm not feeling too well <laughs> um a little bit of a sore throat i've been struggling since yesterday but i feel like fire signs now they're clear you know, there's some clarity in regards to this situation. I feel like since the last conversation, both of you are basically on the same page, understand each other and now, understand each other better. And they actually feel good about it. Unless, fire signs, this is just for some of you. If this is somebody on your mind whom could be an ex, uh, if, if it's an ex, they may be feeling that you're done and that you're moving forward. And maybe you're moving forward because... You're getting into a new relationship and that you're focusing on your work and that you're serious about moving forward. Um, another scenario I'm seeing here is that some changes. They may be feeling like you have changed and you have grown more confident. You, are, you have more plans in your life and that they, and they, that they understand you and they get you, okay? Because again, the two of cups, two of cups can indicate somebody seeing eye to eye, being on the same page. So it feels more like I feel like generally this could apply to anybody that you may have on your mind, that they feel like okay, they understand you now because maybe you have explained to them. Maybe they've gained some clarity, whether it's through you or through somebody else or any other. I would say, or from other people, any other outlet. Queen of Pentacles here, they feel like you're somebody very hardworking um, since the last conversation. You're somebody very hardworking, reliable, and that they do trust you, okay? They trust that both of you would have a really good friendship together or have a relationship together. It could be romantic, it could be friendship, platonic, okay? 
So we've got the King of Wands, the Page of Pentacles here, and the Five of Pentacles, and of Verse. So your person in mind feel feels that you're somebody very driven, very strong. And then maybe you've overcome something in your life that was the devil here in reverse, something toxic, something negative. Any sorts of struggles that you've been through in the past, perhaps you are a survivor. They could be feeling that. Especially if the last conversation has something to do with, you know, what you had to go through in life and that you are in the midst of releasing it or that you've already released it, okay? Let me feel like you're somebody very sincere, again, honest, and that you're focused on your life, you're, or that you're focused on your career. Five Pentacles here, Emma Verse. They could also be feeling that you are getting your life together or getting your life back on track. Unless this is an ex, a past person, they could be feeling that they may want to return to you. They may want to reconcile with you because the Two of Cups is here and we've got the Page of Pentacles. That I feel like in the future, maybe both of you will have a better conversation with each other or understanding each other better. Perhaps for some of you uh, fire signs, you may have explained some something to this person. Unless, unless again, roles are being reversed, okay? I just saw 555. That's your angel number. You can check out your angel number. You can Google it. 555 angel numbers. There could be some important messages for you over there, but number five to me indicates change, a big change. So your person may be feeling since your last conversation that you have changed, okay? But you have changed to becoming a better person. I must say that because the chariot is a major arcana, while the devil in reverse here indicates you have overcome something in your past. But those of you involved in a third party situation, your person may feel like maybe there could be some hope that both of you could be together, especially if they were the ones who have put you in a third party situation, right? A choice to move forward in this connection um, successfully, victoriously, and I see them willing to put in some work, willing to plan with you. But my only concern is that the king and the queen here are, I feel like this could be you, right? The king is looking towards the left and the queen is looking towards the right. I think since your last conversation with this person, they may feel like there's another side of you. Another side of you, whether it's a little bit more masculine or a little bit more feminine, okay? A more masculine energy would be somebody who is very strong, very driven, very ambitious. Um, masculine, strong energy, but I'm not saying that feminine energy is not strong, but... The feminine side would be you being in touch with your feelings or you may have shared your feelings with this person. A softer side of you, a more delicate side of you that makes them kind of understand where you're coming from um, because you may have, you may be a little bit multi-dimensional, something that they didn't discover or something that they didn't know about you. Perhaps it could be from you telling them the truth. Again, roles can be reversed between the two of you. We've got the Ten of Pentacles and also we've got the Two of Swords here. They may feel like there could be a certain... There, there's potential, okay? That's what I'm getting here. And they could feel like since your last conversation that there is a potential for this connection to grow or this friendship to grow or this relationship to grow. But they're still not sure yet with the two swords. It's almost like, okay, this is what I expect. And maybe this could happen. Maybe this couldn't. I don't know. But they may still want to try, okay? To see what's going to happen between two of you. Unless fire signs, your last conversation. If this part is only for some of you. If, you, if you've told this person that I've already met somebody new. And we're getting married. And I don't want to speak with you again. Or that maybe you should speak less. Then they could be feeling rejected because we've got the Ace of Wands here in reverse. It could be feeling kind of rejected and that your eyes are on somebody else or something else. And for some of you, it's you, your focus on something else, somebody else. And that they feel like they maybe should just leave you alone because they feel kind of rejected here with Ace of Wands in reverse. But also I see them feeling like they need to respect your wish, respect you for who you are. 
but they're still gonna try and mend things with you if this is someone you separated from or if this is someone relatively new they could be feeling like they would like to try and see if this connection could turn into something more but generally fire signs again this person on your mind they, they feel like they have some respect for you that's that's for sure that's what i'm getting here perhaps you have two different sides of you that they're beginning to understand or that they're beginning to empathize okay fire signs leo aries and sagittarius is your reading hope you resonated in some way shape or form if you did please hit like share and subscribe i'm gonna leave you with two playlists on the screen right now the first one is from my second channel it's a travel vlog channel check it out if you want to and the second playlist is from this channel i'm gonna leave you with three playlists actually just check them out okay i post them almost every single day so they're still relevant they're updated um i hope to see you back here again tomorrow take care fire signs bye